Hello all and today we will discuss how we can configure our user profile to use with AWS CLI. Now for this tutorial, uh, I have assumed that AWS command line interface or CLI is already installed on your local machine. Now in case you need to know how to go about installing AWS CLI on Microsoft Windows, please follow the steps mentioned uh, at the below URL. So I've actually opened up that uh, URL right here. So this is the URL. And the steps are pretty simple and pretty straightforward. So it actually provides you an MSI install installer for Windows. So you can go ahead and download either a 64-bit or a 32-bit installer right there. And then follow these steps. Uh, in order to go ahead and proceed with the installation. As it shows over here, you will need to install Python. And so go ahead and install Python right there. It Again, it gives you all the steps how to go about doing that. And finally, you will need to uh, configure a couple of uh, OS path variable, envi environment variables. So go ahead and do that. And then you should be all set to use your AWS CLI. So it's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward, uh, uh, no rocket science right over there. The next thing uh, for this is, for this particular tutorial, is that I have created a temporary user uh, in my AWS account called as my temp user. And I will be using this particular user to configure AWS CLI and then we'll execute a couple of uh, CLI commands. So let's jump into the details. So this is my user as I was talking. So username is my temp user. This is the access key ID, and this is the secret access key. And this is the URL uh, in case you want to sign in using the AWS console. And finally, at the end, we will execute a couple of these CLI commands. Now, before we go further ahead, let's go ahead and review this user. Uh, and it's, uh, it's permissions, okay? So this is my AWS account right here. And as you see, I have uh, my temp users profile uh, loaded. So as you see, it only has Amazon EC2 read-only access. Uh, this is the only policy that has associated with my temp user. And you can potentially create user with any policy access. You can give EC2, S3, whatever you desire but for this particular uh, demo i have given only ec2 read only access so essentially this user will not be able to launch or start or stop any ec2 instances but it will be able to enumerate any ec2 instances uh, that are either currently running or have been terminated in the past okay so uh, let's go ahead and configure our profile so for that, let's uh, open a command prompt. So this is my command prompt right there. And I will basically go ahead and type in AWS configure, as you see, and hit enter. So then the first thing it will do is it will ask for AWS access key ID. And our user's access key ID is right here. So I'm going to copy that. And we will paste this uh, over here and hit enter. The next thing it is asking for is a secret access key. So this is my user's secret access key. So I'm going to copy this and paste it right here again. Hit enter. I will leave the default region as US East one. If you want, you can change the region and hit enter. And again, if you want to change the output format, you can change it. I am comfortable with JSON. So I'm going to leave, uh, let JSON remain over there and hit enter again. And there we are. So we have currently logged in to AWS and our user is all set. So let's test if this user is truly connected. And as we saw, this user does have access to um, enlist all the EC2 instances. So first let's go ahead and see if there are any existing EC2 instances. So I'm gonna switch back to my root account and go to EC2. So I don't have any instances running. So let me see if there are any instances that are terminated. And as you see, I do have two instances that are terminated. 
So let us try and enlist or describe these instances. So let's go back to the command prompt. This is a command prompt. And I'm going to go back to my notepad to copy the command. So I'm going to copy AWS EC2 describe instances because this user only has read only access to EC2. And let's go ahead and paste it right here. So click on paste and hit enter. There you go. Now there's a whole lot of information. So I'll scroll up back and we should be able to see the instance uh, instance details. So as you see, the state is disabled. If we scroll further down, the state is terminated, which was, which was true. And the instance ID is 40 AE. So this is one of the instance IDs. So if we go back, we should be able to see this is instance ID right there, 40 AE. The next thing is the image ID. So that is 273, which is this particular image, as you see, is right there. And this was user initiated. This is the key pair. So that is the key pair that I'm using, AWS key pair. It's right there. And there are no security groups associated. As you see, there are no security groups. And let's go further down. Instance type is T2 micro. So which is, which is true, it is T2 micro right there. And there are a lot of other properties further down. So this is one of the instances that we just saw. Remember, we have two instances. So the other instance should also be enlisted. So let's scroll further down and see. So this is, as you see, this is the first instance right here. It stops right there. And then if we scroll further down, we should be able to see the second instance. So this is the second instance and it ends with EC. 1A. So let's go back and check. So this is the second instance right here, EC1A. And as you see, instance type is again T2 micro. So let's scroll down and check. This is the image and it is 273, which is true. Our key pair name is AWS key pair, which is true. And we don't have any security groups, which is true again and our instance type is T2 micro. And then if you scroll further down, you will be able to see rest of the other details for this particular instance. Okay, so let's assume that you don't want all of this instance information. You just want, you know, hey, just get me the instant IDs. So in that case, if we just want instant IDs, then this is the command. As you see, along with that, we are giving query reservations instances dot instance ID. So let's copy this and paste it right here. Hit enter. And as you see, it only listed uh, both the instance IDs right here. So both 40 AE and EC one A are enlisted, which are the two instances that we have here, right here. These are the two instances that we have um, currently terminated under my profile. Okay, guys, so that's pretty much it. It was pretty straightforward to, you know, set up your uh, user account in AWS CLI and get started. If you have any questions, feel free to post them below. If you have any comments, do let me know. And if you would like me to create videos on any specific topic, then have them posted uh, down below again. If you like my videos and uh, my pre overall presentation, uh, please do subscribe to my channel and see you soon in some other video. Take care. Bye-bye.